grandfather was a photographer back in Russia where I grew up and I always wanted to do hands-on photography. It started when I was 12 and uh, haven't looked back since. I like traditional manual photography because I actually get to put a little bit of my own soul and time and effort into each picture. I am Anton Orlov and I'm traveling the country in a mobile darkroom called the Photo Palace educating people about analog photography. When I was 19 I thought about building myself a mobile darkroom so I can actually travel around and take pictures and develop them on site. So now that I actually built it just this year, it's going to be more of an educational bonanza. How many of you have experience with Polaroids? Oh. Uh huh. Two. Got this is a 1978. Yeah, it's amazing. She's been loving. Really well, yeah. so please treat her well. I think might stick away. Uh, the oldest thing I have here is. This little thing, anybody know what this is? It looks like a hologram, but this is actually the very first yeah, photographic right. process. You can totally handle it. Uh, it's under glass. It's called a daguerreotype. This is called an ambrotype, and this is called a tintype. I'm sure you guys have seen these yeah. yeah. tintypes. This is actually the same kind of emulsion it's like on glass. So this thing you put up like this and then you go like this to adjust it to your eye because everybody's eyes are different. It was uh, soft for a while. Before it sets, you can actually take this whole thing was done with a fingernail. Guess what? Polaroid discontinues the film. What? That was 2003. That thing light. And then you turn the lights off and it actually re reverses the white. I've worked in at least a dozen dark rooms in my life, so I, I kind of went from my head. I did make this bus into a home, but this is a beta version. Eventually it's going to have two bedrooms, so I don't have to sleep right where I'm sitting right now. And now I'm just slowly winding my way back down to San Diego. My next stop will be probably Rochester, New York, and to Minnesota. Um, but uh, anything along the way where there's an art crowd, I'll stop over and present this project to them.